Hello and welcome to the Scent Academy. Today we're going to be talking about alcohol, uh, not this kind of alcohol, this kind of alcohol, denatured alcohol. Please don't look for the term perfumer's alcohol, all will be explained. Denatured alcohol is denatured to make it undrinkable, meaning that it's not completely organically pure anymore because they've put a component in it to make it undrinkable because if it was drinkable, it would be taxed very heavily. So if you're gonna be using organic, you know, natural alcohol that's not been denatured, it's gonna cost you a fortune. And I know that people in the US have problems finding it. Uh, so we're going to talk about three different types of alcohol today. Um, so the first one that I found is Aromazone. Aromazone, they're based in France. Now, where they ship to, they do ship worldwide, but with the alcohol, I'm not sure. You'd have to check out on their website, maybe contact them. But they're just called Aromazone, and they do this um, organic. So the components that are, they use to denature it are organic and completely safe. Um, there's a perfumer's alcohol in the UK that you shouldn't be using. Um, and if you ever want to go and find out um, whether a denatured, denatured alcohol is suitable or not, then you need to ask them what they denature it with. So what component do they use? So there's a company in Canada, for instance, I'll leave the link below and they ship to Canada and the US. Um, and it's denatured and they use a component called Bitrex in it to denature it. So therefore it's affordable, but undrinkable, but perfectly suitable for perfumery. And it's completely safe for your skin as acknowledged by my Alan, the chemist. I have a friend called Alan, he's a chemist. And I asked him just to double check before I did this video that this alcohol is actually safe for the skin. And it is. There's an alcohol that's sold quite widely in the UK. It's called perfumer's alcohol. I hate this term being bounded around all the time. Perfumer's alcohol. Stay away from it because quite often it will be, um, it will contain a component called dipropylene gly glycol and it's not suitable. And if you get it safety assessed, uh, for retail, then your chemist, whoever is, uh, you know, testing your uh, formulation, uh, they'll ask you what base you're using. And if you tell them that it's a perfumer's alcohol with this ingredient or from, because they'll ask you for the supplier as well, where you're getting it from, so that they can check that it doesn't have this um, component in it, like DPG. So they will not accept it it will not be acceptable so it, there's no point in using it so get used to using some organic denatured alcohol um and uh yeah or the one that has safe components in it like bitrex like the one in canada uh, you need to look for trade specific denatured alcohol tsda1 in the UK, there's a company, and I'm going to give you the link, and I'm so generous, I'm going to give you the link of where you can buy trade-specific um, denatured alcohol, one that's absolutely suitable for retail, so you can use it for your perfumes if you're selling them, And but you need to have a license that you need to get with the customs in the UK, and you go online, and you fill in a form, it's free, and you can get a license to buy the alcohol then. They will only ship it to you if you have this license, and they normally only ship if you are in the UK. Um, but you can contact them to find out, and I'll put the link below as well for that. So there's that one in the UK. There's a Romazone for Europe, and uh, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but you need to check, because it's really tricky shipping alcohol, like I said. So you need to check whether the alcohol is organic, um, and if it's natured, if it's natural, or if it's denatured, and if it's been denatured, then what components have they used to denature it, and is it safe? and you need to check that. So you can do your own research, um, or um, yeah, you can ask me for a fee. <laughs> well, you know, I can't work for free, I'm gonna get kicked out. So that's it, um, and that's my whole thing about um, alcohol today, and now on to the other type of alcohol. Oh. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'll see you next time at the Scent Academy.